There we go. Just had to get rid of the glare. Um, what was it? Uh, my wife, Sherry, was like, oh, here's the Parts Express catalog you always like. And I was like, you know, I haven't really been liking these lately because they're too fucking expensive. So, um, and it, listen, I have nothing against uh, people of color in advertisements. The problem is, is that Parts Express, um, they're like, oh, all the white people know better. So let's start checking the Mexicans and the black people. It's like, fuck you guys. Uh, don't Mexicans, black people don't fucking get fooled by these fuckers. This shit is too fucking expensive. Look at that. $1,300 for what? For what? So, but this, you know, this inspires me to go to uh, Edge and say, hey, can you guys start importing these enclosures? Can you start importing... Look at these fucking knockdowns. The only ones that I think used to be a good deal were these guys. Um, and I, I think it used to be cheaper. Uh, the MTM Tartrix. And then you can go through and look in those uh, to figure out what drivers they're using. Again, um, look at... Uh, who is it? The MCM drivers. I like those. The 8-inch. Is that an 8-inch one or is that a 6.5? That is... Doesn't say. I would do an eight inch one with that Dayton audio. But anyways, this is ridiculous, especially these fucking enclosures. Look at that shit. Dude, this is, for them, their cost on this is probably right around <clears throat> uh, $80. And they're selling it for that. They're selling it direct. They, they're not even going through dealers. So, but um, yeah, the wife, Look at that, Jesus Christ, 269 for that. Uh, where she's like, oh, you like this? And I was like, no, I get I get a chance to talk shit about these guys. So, and then all their Dayton drivers are just fucking overpriced. The only thing I could recommend is don't buy from them anymore. Look at Mattisound, um, see if Meniscus is still in business and has deals. Um, who was it? Hi-Vi, they used to carry Hi-Vi. I don't think they carry Hi-Vi anymore. Uh, they made a version of this uh, Sunfire sub, which I, I'm like feeling frisky. I want to put it back into production or a better version of the Sunfire with even bigger, stronger magnets. Uh, and then Stupid Adire's in here. What's his name? Andrew Gutierrez. Um, and again, he's just, he's just importing it for them. The pinnacle in output and low distortion. Um, yeah, I got into a, <clears throat> I guess it was an argument, but it was like, hey, you guys should take out the uh, flux rings in your stupid Dayton, which I did. I done it on the other one. I popped off the, the top plate. That's not bad. That's not a bad price right there for that. So usually they're about $3. So, but uh, again, you got to buy $100 to get the free shipping. And I used to buy those for cheap. That's a little expensive. This is the RGT 5050. I used to buy a bunch of these. What do they sell it as? Some other part number. Uh, they get that from Goldwood. So, and then there's mine. I saw mine for $10 and it's better quality. So, but again, I told them to sell speaker parts and I was gonna sell them speaker parts, but um, now we got into that argument about the, uh, the flux flux capacitor, the flux ring inside the Ultimax uh, motor, and uh, these guys are just snobs. So again, they're listening to snobby, um, like sometimes they have a, a, a education background, sometimes they don't. And that's the worst thing too, is like when you meet a lawyer, like you have to go to school for a really long time to be a lawyer. And then when you realize that all lawyers are pieces of garbage, and um, they use their superpowers to exploit and uh, uh, manipulate you. That, that's why people hate lawyers, because it's like a cultural thing. Like, uh, now, I watch a couple of lawyers, ch typically chick lawyers, on uh, TikTok. I'll put some links to them in the description. But um, mostly because they're entertaining. Sometimes they share a little bit of good news. But they're not, again, I wish one would be all the way honest about their uh, oath to the court. So, but they aren't. And also none of them will ever challenge jurisdiction. 
So because that you're cutting them off at the knees. You're like, you're, you're telling them, not only is the game that you're playing fake, but you're committing fraud. So it's like, it's, it's the same thing with the car audio where, to, you know, anybody that's a established brand or uh, owns a shop will not be friends with me. I'm okay with that. Uh, but the reason why is because I undercut their scam. They're charging too much. Um, and, you know, I used to get mad at them and uh, getting into home stuff. Again, you can get all this stuff used online for really cheap. I don't know how anybody's selling any of this stuff anymore. That's a pretty good MTX deal, especially with the free shipping. But um, no, that's why that's why these guys hate me. And I'm okay with that, it's fine. I don't need them. I help people directly. Everybody loves what I do for them. See, the kicker stuff is all overpriced. Even the boss is overpriced, Jesus Christ. Boss, really? There's the DSP, 164, not bad. How many? I had to turn off the light to get rid of the glare, but I can't really focus on that. Um, <clears throat> oh, so yeah, I got the, the, the message back from Recoil. They want me to submit a, uh, like a, a demo video. Like they want to see what a professional you know, non-cursing review video looks like before they'll like accept me. And I'm like, no, I'm not playing that shit. You either know me or you don't. And if you don't pay attention, here you go. This is the clearance center. This is where I like to go. And then you find some turds that nobody wants and you figure out, oh, they've been missing this. Oh, they, you know, they're over overlooking this, blah, blah, blah. And you go buy a bunch of them and stick them together and do some rad shit. See, I used to buy a bunch of these mostly for the crossover components that came with them on the back of them. It's some buyout, but also because um, it's a four and a half inch mount. Uh, I think it's probably three and three quarter cutout. Uh, I'll put, yeah, three and a half inch hole. Um, it's mostly because sometimes I get uh, speaker cabinets in and they're, they're broken or cracked or they're just old. And that's all you gotta do is change that out and it's done. And you're talking about 98 cents. Uh, I have cases of these. Uh, it's a hundred bucks. not a big deal. Uh, blue, see, $20 Bluetooth receiver. Come on. Come on. Um, Goldwood. Oh, I like the GRS woofers that they sell. Um, but also contact Goldwood directly and get their pricing direct. Uh, even though it says 20% off all Goldwood. Goldwood is good. I've been buying, that's Marty. Uh, I forget his last name. I've been buying from him for years. I don't buy him too much anymore, but, um, uh, He's good for like grills are a good price rather than uh, Parts Express. But again, how many woofers are you selling, right? So most people who do a lot of uh, sales don't need to buy, you know, 25 grills at a time. So, and then that stupid, this one, it's too, it's, it's, it's not loud enough. It doesn't do a good job. And then that's the only one I really recommend. And the link of that, link to that is in the description. And the best thing you can do is buy off Amazon in case you have any problems. Uh, Amazon makes Parts Express behave well. So I was really surprised when I contacted them and uh, this was obviously, you know, like if the if the shorting ring was never in there, it would have never come off. And then they wouldn't honor it because I had already reconed it. I'm like, you guys suck. So, but it's fine. What that does is it, it creates um, opportunity for somebody like me to come in and displace them. Go, Patrick, can you displace Parts Express? Yeah, it's easy. You just get a fucking warehouse and then you sell shit on the internet. It's fucking easy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, make your own fucking boombox. Uh, I, I want to see somebody come with like, again, look at that clearance. So you can, with especially with passive crossovers, you can run four woofers. Two in the front, two in the back. Uh, full range with like a $20, you know, head unit. I didn't really see any good deals this year as far as Black Friday. In fact, mostly what I saw on TikTok was, you know, where they take the price and they say, oh, it's a Christmas price. And then you move it and it's the same as it always has been. Again, people are smarter than you think. There, now, there are a lot of dumb people. I was talking to Sherry today in the car about bringing a catalog, or not a catalog, a calendar to market because I couldn't find a good um, calendar for, for like five bucks. 
And I would actually pay up to $10 for something really nice, even like, you know, tits and ass or something like that. And, uh, you know, because I know I'm, I'm fine with having that in my garage. It's not a big deal. But um, it's not available. The end. And then the only thing that I found available was like the Hubble telescope photographs, which again, they don't, they don't pay anything for it. Those are all free. And then I get it and it's seven by seven. It's this tiny little dumb thing. I'm like, I'm sending this back out of revenge. Like this is fucking dumb. So don't put up with that shit. Go to the dollar store, get a calendar there. Um, but let me know if you would, if you would buy, like, what do you want to see? Do you want to see woofer porn? Do you want to see like old ads? So again, there's not really a lot of, um, permission that you need for something like that. Um, uh, and most of the active companies really don't care, especially if I put like a URL in the bottom or something like that. Like you can go to rockfordfoggeek.com and buy from whatever Australian company bought them. So, but everybody else is basically out of business. So, or, you know, went to jail for selling meth or whatever, crystal meth, whatever you want to call it. So, but anyways, I love you guys. There is the, um, dream, inspire, create, um, I want to look into this because I control Copperhead Audio. And so if I get a chance to yell at these guys, that would be fun. Uh, Copperhead Audio. Yeah, that's too much. It's too much. I'm talking about $10 for the enclosures, maybe 20 shipped, and then the drivers. Again, I think a lot of people would love um, using Recoil and Cicada speakers at home. They're as good or better than anything out there. And, you know, if you're going to pay that much for drivers, fucking enjoy them and, and get to show your shit off. So and then I, I would be I would be the guy that would say, OK, I recommend this inductor, blah, blah, blah. And you can source it from this, whatever, whoever, something like that, because otherwise it's too expensive for them to source that kind of stuff. They got to they got to buy like at least a thousand pieces at a time to get the the, the margins that they want. I think that was it. I didn't really go through a lot of this stuff, but it's getting dark, and I, I know this phone's good at recording in the dark, but Dayton Audio Signature Series, extended range. I don't know if extended range is really important. Are you extending on the high end? Are you extending on the low end? What are you extending? And that's a lot for a woofer, especially for a six and a half. Give me a fucking break. Again, MCM Electronics, the, even MCM, the brand went under and uh, the parent company absorbed them and absorbed the in inventory. And uh, again, that's still one of my favorite, especially for home audio, not so much for car. It just doesn't have enough X Max. It doesn't have enough wind height to really handle the power and do what you guys want in car audio. But for home audio, they're fucking awesome. So again, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, and also, it's, it's weird talking direct to consumers or somebody that wants to buy this again, you know, same thing. Oh, me and my son made this. It's like, well, the son didn't, really didn't do anything. He just held the flashlight for dad. But, um, <clears throat> um, which um, it's, again, that's an important job, but it's not that important, you know, but, um, and also these cabinets don't come with this, um, finish and all that kind of stuff. You got to finish them and all that kind of stuff. Let me see. Maybe I'm a liar. Make me a liar. Maybe they are finished. Premium. Can't see. Still can't see. And also, that's a that's a waste of a. That should be MTM. That should be a the Doppelito uh, configuration. Now, if it's finished, that might be okay. But again, uh, if it's just for highs, just buy some like shitty Polk Audio ones. That like I, I picked a brand new pair of Polk Audio towers and they're, again they're for 100 hertz and above that's all highs that you don't need a strong cabinet for that you don't need something that's like reinforced mdf with dado cuts and all this kind of stuff you know this kind of thing you don't need that for mids you don't uh um and so you can get away with a lot less and like let somebody else do it so i think i picked those up for like i think 100 for the pair Nine, no no 90 it was 90 for the pair because i picked them up in cali on the way home from a, a drive, I think I was picking them up at uh, Concept. And um, if I want to change out the drivers, I can. Um, in fact, I found two pair of Polk Audio uh, towers. Uh, the guy was selling them, basically giving them away for $5 a pair. Those are fantastic. And as you know, it gets weird whenever you get into the finish of things. 
um, especially furniture finish. Excuse me. Um, furniture grade finish is just expensive because it's time. It's a, it's a lot of time. It's very time consuming. Uh, and, you know, if you fuck it up, it takes more time to fix the, the fuck up. So I'd rather buy something new that's just for highs, like, say, from Best Buy, like Clarence. Th these ones I picked up at Fry's Electronics when they were still around. Uh, and they were on sale, I think, I want to say 59 But I also had the reseller thing. And I didn't have to pay tax on them, which was good. Uh, yeah, I think they were $59 each or, yeah, something like that. It ended up being like $96 for the pair. Maybe it's 54 But um, that's still over 100 I don't remember paying 100 for them. Anyways, um, for highs, those are great. And then if you want to get them really screamy, you can put some different drivers in them. That's what I recommend. And then as far as the finish goes, um, I'm a fan of just putting socks on them, which is just the knitted speaker grill cloth. I, in fact, let me show you real quick on some definitive uh, that I... I didn't pick them up. Fucking David picked them up. So I mean, I don't really care what they look like because my ears don't see. I just care what they sound like, but I like the cabinets. And what I'll do is, um, he, I, he gave them to me for $20 for the pair. He, he dug them out of the trash. I'm like, it's worth 20 bucks. Fucking, I'll give you 20 bucks. Uh, this does not look like the original driver, but if it is, you know, good for me, and I'll sell it as a, a you know, um, authentic, you know, definitive technology re replacement whatever but there's two there's an mtm in the front and then there's an mtm in the back and then usually the uh subwoofer is active let me see if this and they have the port down at the bottom where's the back oh that's the amplifier right there so the sock i pull that sock off so i can test that out to see if that is and that's another good thing too but again these are like this is a lot of sound especially if you put like the screamers like um what are they the ms 65-4P, which is from, oh, somebody sunglasses, which is from Recoil Audio. It's probably Chris. Um, yeah, you can make these real screamers. And then if you have a bunch of them, like that's, that's a wall of sound. The biggest thing is not having to uh, have to make the enclosures. That's the hard part. And then once you stop caring about what they look like, like you can always put a movie screen, like, um, you can buy a movie screen for cheap now and just have the ones that come down from the ceiling. You can even have them automated. I picked up one for like a hundred bucks and it has the remote control and everything like that. And again, I would love to do all that stuff. I just don't have time. I, I value production more than I do free time. The free time that I do have, I just fucking jack off and that's, that's it. That's it. That's my whole vacation is just fucking 20 minutes, an hour, whatever it is. I jerked off twice the other night, but I hadn't jerked off in like a week and a half. It's all backed up. Uh, oh, let me know if anybody wants any of this uh, PPI stuff. Um, I'm going to start posting pieces on eBay. The guy that was supposed to buy it, that bought it, he hasn't picked it up. He said that he was in recovery uh, for drugs, I guess, whatever, alcohol, something, some addictive substance, because um, he, he didn't pay rent on it. Uh, the same thing with the... Um, uh, forklifts uh that was eddie eddie shot somebody and then they took him to jail Ugh. even though it was like you know self-defense or whatever but he hasn't paid rent on these either and so uh i think i think the end of friday is no payments six months and then i'll resell them so and these i'll sell for 1500 local if you want me to ship them i can ship them on a bed flatbed truck but you also get those each one is 36 volt Here's the charger for it too. And I'm sure it has two phase, three phase input and then you can do 36 volt output. Um, and you can also do, uh, we were looking into doing lithium banks inside of them. Some of them use the lead acid as a counterweight, but those are real for light duty inside of a warehouse. They're not real good for, you know, like dirt. I need one that's uh, either propane or gasoline. Uh, that's like just an old piece of shit. I might buy the one that Larry's using because they don't really even use the one at Recoil. Plus, they only got it for like three grand. Uh, I wanted to show you something else. Anyways, uh, I'll do some more videos, guys. I love you. Bye.